In this video, we're going to be renaming our component names. So what exactly does that mean? Well, when we go over to the right here in our component section, you'll notice we have a bunch of generic names for our components. So for example, vertical arrangement four and vertical arrangement 10 and button four and button three. And it's hard to make sense of what each one of these things is actually doing, which is why it's so important to rename them to actually give some context to what they're doing. So for example, this vertical arrangement six right here is actually a margin, right? It's kind of our first margin. So that might be what I would rename it. Not only does it help us stay organized when we rename our component names, but also it gives us some context when we're in our block section. So right now it's pretty easy to click on one of these and look at our viewer and see what it's doing. But when we go to our block section, we no longer have that viewer, right? When we go here, a lot, all these component names make a lot less sense because we don't have that visual reference. So we're gonna go about renaming these components to make more sense of what they do. So the first one I'm gonna rename is this vertical arrangement six. And this for me is just margin one. That's how I would describe it. But you could certainly describe it however it makes the most sense for you. So the way we rename a component, once again, is we go and click on it, and then we click rename, and we just type in what we want it to be named. I'm gonna say margin one. Now the one nuance to renaming our components is that we can't rename it the exact same thing as something else. So if I were to try margin one again, you'll notice it says duplicate component names. So I'm just gonna name it margin two. And I'm just gonna kinda go through each one of these margins and rename it appropriately. So margin three, and then I'm gonna say, you know, margin four, and margin five. And there you have it, right? So we have our margin five. Actually, we have one more. We have our margin six that I forgot about. So let me go ahead and type that in. And as I said, you could rename these whatever makes the most sense for you. So you'll already see that we kind of have a bit more sense here, right? It makes a little bit more sense. We have a margin here and then a margin here and a margin here. And we could actually collapse our vertical arrangements, right? If we click on that minus side to the left of them, and you'll notice our component section now makes a bit more sense right here, right? It says a margin and then a vertical arrangement and then a margin and then a vertical arrangement. But you know, it would make more sense if for this vertical arrangement, we actually labeled that as well, right? If I renamed this to let's say our chapter arrangement, and I'll say one. So chapter arrangement one, and then I'll say, you know, I actually named that incorrectly. I'll say arrangement, sorry about that. And then I'll say, you know, chapter arrangement two, I keep misspelling that here. So what am I doing wrong? Great, and if you wanna make this go a little bit faster, you can just copy this if you have multiple and then do like I'm about to do and just kind of paste it in and change the number. And then I'll just keep doing this real quick here. Chapter arrangement four and then chapter arrangement five, right? Great. So already we're starting to see how our component section is getting a lot more readable. So one important thing to do though, and this is probably the most important things you need to name, is you need to rename whatever components you're gonna be working with in the block section so you know exactly what they are. So imagine right now you're like, you know what, I don't wanna rename my margins and my, you know, my arrangements, my containers, that's just too much work and I don't wanna do it. And if you can make sense of your, your, your viewer section, you know, or your component section by not renaming it, by all means, you don't have to do that. But as I said, if you do anything, do rename the components that you're gonna work with in your block section. And the ones we're gonna be working with are our buttons. So I'm gonna rename these. I'm gonna say, you know, this is chapter one button. And as I said, I'm gonna just copy this and just change the number. So now that's chapter one button. And then I'm gonna say, you know, chapter two button and then chapter three button. Let's change that here. 
and so on and so forth, right? So I'm gonna just do this two more times. Bear with me here. Chapter four button and chapter five button. Right, and the reason why we wanna do that is for this, this reason alone. It's that when we go into our block section, we click on it here. Now, when we need to know, you know, when we wanna work with, let's say chapter four's button, when we click on this, we go, oh, chapter four button right here. Of course, that makes sense. But you know, if I were to just drag and drop random components into our designer and not label them at all, and I try to go to my block section, I'm gonna have no clue what each button is. Right, and in this case, in our audiobook log, it kind of makes sense, right? Because everything's in order. But I guarantee you later on, your applications aren't gonna necessarily be laid out like this, right? So you, ne you definitely need to rename them. Great, so we pretty much just renamed every one of these components to make a bit more sense. I didn't rename this checkbox because we're not gonna be working with it often, but you certainly can. And that's going to conclude our video. So I hope everything made sense to you and I'll see you in the next video.